So for my trip, I traveled to Spain. We were staying primarily in Salamanca, and then we spent the last uh, two-ish weeks of the trip um, going all around northern Spain. What we were doing over there is that we were taking Spanish classes for those first four weeks, um, living in host homes, and then after that we engaged in some different cultural experiences. A lot of students that I, that I knew and who have gone on the trip uh, in prior years, they were talking about how great it was, and they were right in the end. So that plus the allure of it getting me enough of my Spanish credits to get me my minor without having to take a bunch more classes during the regular school year. At Delay, which is a school we were studying at, there was only Spanish classes and we were only ever spoken to in Spanish. So before we went to Spain, we ended up taking a placement test um, to kind of determine which class rank we would be in. There was four different sections in our classes, so we would have different teachers for that. They were young people, so it was pretty like cool to be able to relate to them. And a lot of them didn't speak very good English anyway, so they couldn't have spoke to us in English even if we wanted them to. About the first four weeks, we were in Salamanca. We would wake up, we'd have breakfast with our host mother, and then we would get our things ready. we go down to the language school that was there in Salamanca. We'd take our classes that day, maybe we'd go on an excursion, and then once we were done with that allotted amount of time, we kind of had the day to ourselves. In the afternoon, it was kind of up to us uh, whether we wanted to go shopping or we wanted to go exploring. There was also in the main plaza area in Salamanca, live music, orchestras, opera, plays, um, and different things. So that was where a lot of us headed in the evenings. Once we left Salamanca, um, we kind of went up the, the northwest side of Spain and we just stopped at various towns, A Coruña, Bilbao, Burgos, uh, etc. And we would spend a couple days um, living in a hotel, exploring local cathedrals, different art museums, and just kind of seeing what that specific place had to offer. And then a few days later, we would get on a bus, travel for eight hours, sometimes less than that, to our next place and do the same thing. The biggest takeaway I would say is the experience I gained speaking Spanish and hearing Spanish. You can't get that here day to day, even if you're taking Spanish classes every day, it's not the same as living with people who only speak that language and you, you have to speak it back to them in order to do that. I think one thing that people should know about um, going on this Spain trip is that while it is a stretch and while it is an adventure for some people, like it's absolutely worth it. And Spain and the experiences that I've had that I've had there have changed my life. And even though it was a scary first step for me to go over to Spain for the first time and to experience a whole new place and a whole new language, it's been so rewarding to me. And so I think that that would be my encouragement to people would just be to step out there um, because you never know what you're going to come out of it with. 